Well, everybody, welcome back to D-Ray Shop. Well, I was going to say me and Randy are working on something today, but Randy's not actually in official uniform garb, so he's just kind of freelancing. But anyway, okay, today's video is going to be a little off topic from what I normally do as far as just tutorials and things. This is going to be kind of a generalized uh, troubleshooting style video. Um, I'm going to show you a machine here in just a second. It's, it's an older Yamaha Timberwolf. Cusper brought it in. It has no spark. Now, you can test the components on it, your pulser, your stator, the ignition coil, things like that. You can do a resistance check on them. But it may or may not actually give you the, the specs that show that they're bad or not. I mean, it can check good and actually be bad. So one of the things I've learned to do over the years is to, you know, you can replace a component, but a lot of times with electronic components, like for instance, on this one we're testing the pulser coil. Uh, a lot of them, the pulser coil is made onto the stator coil. And so you have to buy like a several hundred dollar component you know, and you put it on there and you still don't spark, well, you've got you a nice little spare stator because generally you can't return electronic components. Same way with CDI box. If you put a brand new CDI box on it, things still don't spark, you got you a spare CDI box. So I always like to try to troubleshoot things to the point of definitively verifying, yes, I have a definite problem or no, I don't. So this here is the redneck way to do something, but it works and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So let's take a look. Okay, here's our machine in question here. This is a 1999 Yamaha Timberwolf four-wheel drive. Now, when I check the, uh, the pulser and the stator on this thing, it halfway checked within spec, but I still just couldn't get a definitive, yeah, this is what's wrong, yeah, that's not it. So, well, what I've always learned to do with these things is uh, if there was a way that you could actually put a different pulser in it to test it, that would be real good. So what I'm doing here is the next best thing. What I've done is I've pulled the pulser wires out of the wiring harness that go to the CDI box, and I've hooked me some jumpers on. So I've effectively eliminated the pulser from the engine. So now I'm running this here old speaker wire up and over and down the cow poop and uh, running up over here to uh, 450 Yamaha Rhino, which has, it's a whole different engine, but it has the same basic pulser design, just a two-wire pulser. Matter of fact, the wires are the same color. So, I've run my wires up here into the wiring harness that goes to the stator on the 450. And I've just plugged my wires directly into that coupler on the same colors, white and green, white and red. Okay, so now, this is what we're gonna do. Old Rando is gonna man the donor unit over here and I'm gonna get over here on the Timberwolf, and what Randy's gonna do is when I give him the high sign, he's gonna spin that thing over. So that means that the pulser coil from the 450 is gonna generate current, it's gonna run down our little jumper wire, and it's gonna go into the wiring harness of the Timberwolf. And if our pulser is indeed bad on the Timberwolf, when he spins that one and I spin this one, we should be able to produce a spark. You ready? Ready. All right, hang on here. Put my ignition on. Got my thumb on the button. Let's get down here where the smart plug is. Ready? Yep. Go. There you go. And there you have it. Easy as that. We got a bad pulser coil. All righty. So that's going to be our quick and dirty way to do a little diagnosis on your electrical system. Bad pulser, no problem. All right, guys. Uh, as always, appreciate y'all watching. Leave me some comments in the comment section below of maybe some of the ways you've had to do some redneck uh, uh, troubleshooting on your own. But uh, as always, hey, swing back by again. Never know what we're going to be up to next. Y'all have a good one. Catch y'all next time around. Catch y'all next time around. You just bring one of them waters? They just come in water. <laughs> Boy.